Hey YouTube, this is Dave, and today's video is about the Seagate Satellite GoFlex Drive and the Apple TV, obviously, and my iOS device, which is an iPhone 5. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to connect the Apple TV and the iOS together using the Wi-Fi that comes from uh, this uh, portable drive. Now, this Wi-Fi is meant for you to use the app on the iOS device so that you can stream all the media that you have on your GoFlex right over to your iOS. But today, I'm going to have it set up so that once I take this content and put it over onto the iOS, I'm going to AirPlay it right onto the Apple TV. And how I'm doing that is I'm connecting my Apple TV to the Wi-Fi and the GoFlex, and I'm connecting my iOS to the GoFlex. And uh, let me just show you the other setup. In your car, you're going to need an inverter so that you can plug in your Apple TV unless you do some sort of hack where you can do it with a cigarette lighter uh, uh, plug. But I choose not to modify my Apple TV. So also you need uh, to convert HDMI to RCA. Unless your car has HDMI, then you're fine. But if not, you're going to have to switch it over to RCA, which goes to the back of my radio and uh, allows me to have video on my screen. So, now, this is what we have to do, and it's kind of hard to make it out without, you know, the camera not focusing correctly, but the Apple TV is connected to the GoFlex, and the iOS is connected to the GoFlex. When you connect your phone to the GoFlex Wi-Fi, you have to change a little bit of the setting. So, after you connect to it, you need to hit the blue button. And then you need to take note of your IP address and your subnet mask. Don't worry about the other ones. You hit Static tab, and then you copy those two areas, the IP address and the subnet mask. So I typed it in, and I'll take note of the Wi-Fi sim symbol and see what happens. Notice that it turned to 4G. It's because now it's going to use your 4G in order for you to get internet content uh, streamed onto your iOS and then beamed over past the Wi-Fi in your GoFlex and onto your Apple TV via AirPlay. So now normally, if you're just your iOS is connected to the GoFlex, you use an app that Seagate has, and it's the Seagate Media app. Or you can use a third-party app called Ace Player, say for instance. And let's just go with the normal app. And what's going to happen is you're going to see all these folders that you have. It's video, uh, photos, music, and documents. And then you, you can also see the content that's on your iPhone 5. This is the satellite here. So if we click the satellite and I click the movie, you're going to see the satellite blinking blue. That means it's doing something with the Wi-Fi. So now we have all these movies here, and some of these movies have explanation points on it because they're not the correct media that iOS plays. But let's play one that does play, and I'll show you an Ace Player that you'll be able to play any format, and that's the purpose of Ace Player. So let's go to something that's uh, DVD quality, and let's do this one here. And what's going to happen now is you're going to see that it's going to be playing on my iPhone. If I turn it sideways, you'll see it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the AirPlay button because our Apple TV is connected as well. So I'm going to select Apple TV and watch what's going to happen. Because this media is stored on our GoFlex, you'll be able to play it right from your iOS right to the Apple TV that's in front of me that's connected to the GoFlex. Now, isn't that pretty cool? Now this media is stored on this so you can have 500 gigabytes of storage there's a hack out there too you can also get like one terabyte uh, you know replace the 500 gig so anyway that's that and now say you want to do internet content because you're doing internet content you're gonna have to go and change it to airplay mirroring so we can't hit the airplay from the video we have to kind of go to the home screen double tap and hit airplay Apple TV and mirroring so now I hit mirroring and I'm mirroring now my screen using the Wi-Fi that's in the GoFlex. So now if we go to say YouTube and I already have a video here, we're going to hit play Space Station. Space Station. and there we have it. We have YouTube videos streaming using your 4G right over to the Apple TV that's connected right here with that Wi-Fi and we're playing. Now the signal in my driveway is not that great, so we're not going to get a great, uh, you know, we're going to get choppy film. Uh, I only have like two bars. And uh, there it is. Uh, Seagate's using its Wi-Fi. And we're making 
video over 4G or LTE using the Wi-Fi and the storage capacity of the GoFlex. And there you have it. Apple TV in the car with an inverter and a converter and getting iOS and Apple TV connected together using the Seagate GoFlex and that's super cool all right now let me just show you one last thing if you wanted to use a third-party app let me pause this let me pause this and I'm gonna go into ace player now ace player is a way to control your you click media server and you hit GoFlex and GoFlex connects and you're gonna see once you're in that you're connected and this I'm accessing a folder that's on the GoFlex using the ace player now all the videos don't have an explanation point and you pretty much can play it anything you want so I will play like an AVI and that works too and I can also airplay that AVI uh, let's use blu-ray format or divix or whatever and you'll see it's playing now because it's airplayed mirror when you're using ace player you can't airplay without airplay mirroring so that's fine uh, you know but if you use the Seagate app, you can do it. So here it is. And it's airplaying right to the screen there. And we'll turn it sideways, and there it is. And it's coming from that. So, you know, you're worried about having 8 gigabytes on your iPhone. You don't have to worry about that anymore. Because now you have 500 gigs, plus you're using the Wi-Fi in it to connect your Apple TV and iOS. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and I will see you on my next video.